If you're trying to get your 3D prints to the next level, then the slicer software plays a big role. So let's try to get the most out of Cura, a great free slicer. Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. Now just to clarify, I'm using version 3.2.1 of Cura, which at the time of filming is the most recent version of Cura. And over the last couple of updates, Cura has gotten a lot better and it can now do almost everything that the $150 Simplify 3D can do. But when you first install Cura, most of these settings are really hidden, as it is also meant as a beginner piece of software where you don't want to adjust 200 settings manually. To get the most flexibility out of Cura, let's just show some more options. By clicking the little gear symbol on one of the top menu items, and then in the menu that pops up, click on Select All, and this is gonna show all the different settings that there are. Alternatively, you can just check mark individually the settings that you want to show. But I find it easier to just have all of them shown and just disregard some of them. Some of these settings are pretty self-explanatory and it's really easy to figure out what they do. But some others are quite a bit harder. So I already made a video that you can check out up here where I explain seven settings that are gonna create the most difference in your 3D prints. So you can check that one out and if you want to know about other settings as well then you can just hover over the settings and there's going to be a short explanation that popping up and if you need more information then just go ahead and google it or just try it out and you can always just hit the little arrow that reverses the setting if it's not what you like once you understand the settings and you know how to manipulate them to get good prints you want to optimize your workflow a little bit you don't want to just change all the settings manually every time you print something different. But instead what you want to use is profiles. There are already a lot of profiles predefined and you can try using some of those and man ma manipulating them but what you really want to do is create your own materials that you use often and then create profiles within them. The materials in this case are almost like folders that hold your different profiles. And then when you go into a new print, you can just select the profile you wanted from the material you wanted and get printing really fast with all the custom settings that you tuned for your machine. Of course, you can also have multiple different machines defined in Cura, which all have their own settings. And you can then just switch in between those machines. But what if Cura just doesn't offer a feature that you need? Well, there's one more step that you can try. There are quite a few plugins actually for Cura. To install a plugin, you go to Plugin, Browse Plugins, and on the menu that pops up, you can see all the different plugins that there are, and you can just click Install from there and install them very easily. You can just browse through, look what kinds you want, maybe you want Octoprint to work with Cura or other software, or you just want some simple other settings that there aren't right now, but maybe there's a plugin for it. And if you're a coder, you can just write your own plugins. Now, if you have any other tips and tricks that I haven't mentioned in this video, you can leave them down in the comments so everybody else can see them. And while you're done there, consider to leave a like down there, consider to subscribe as well so you don't miss any future videos. I also have social media and affiliate links down in the description so you can see what I'm doing and you can support me without costing you anything. So thanks for watching and until next time.